Hello everyone, I am John Balding. Today, I'll be discussing The Paper Bag Princess, written by Robert Munch and illustrated by Michael Marchinko. Though the watercolored ink style is mainly subdued, a good bit of detail shows through the seemingly simplistic style. When applying Molly Bang's principles to Marchinko's illustrations, we see right away that the dragon is massive, drawing the reader's eyes towards it and making it the strongest element on the page. That is coupled with the fact that he encompasses the center of attention by being located in the middle. There is a sense of stability and calm, however, as we see the horizon in the background being the only constant horizontal line. The dragon himself represents a straight line and is in motion. It is clear he's being drawn during the act of trying to breathe more fire, though he is out. Also, the angle of the head is set at a diagonal, further implying motion. The princess is closer to the horizon, higher on the page, placing her in a lighter place, whereas the dragon is lower and the weight of the beast is more readily felt as a result. The choice to make the text in black against the white backdrop on the previous page to each illustration was a deliberate choice to separate the visuals from the readings and then to tie them together as the text matches the drawings perfectly.